Here we are on the penultimate video on our Evil Clutches video tutorial as we make our way through learning how to use Game Maker Studio 2. You can see we have very few skills left to learn in these last couple of videos. Um, we have making a long way towards understanding how to add objects to a game and how they can move on their own accord or response to the player and how they interact with other objects. In this video we're going to be dealing with some of the aesthetics, in particular adding a background to our room. Looking at our specifications, and we've covered pretty much all the specifications that deal with the mechanics of the game. So we have a functional game, now we're just making it look pretty. In this tutorial, you learn about how to add a background image to your other cave to your game. Okay, so let's get down to the workings of this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to here, and I'm just going to change the room, because room zero, or the name of the room, because room zero just seems like such a... Uh, pointless name. So I'm going to rename that. That's down here. And we're going to change this to the cave. And it really doesn't matter what you name it because Game Maker will run in the order. It will run whatever game room is first. We'll run that first. But we'll deal with room order later on in another video tutorial series. So now we've done that, I need to create a sprite for my background. So I'm going to come up here and go sprites, right mouse click, create sprite sprite and bring the sprite in the sprite name is going to SPR no, I'm going to call it that I'm going to import the image first um, okay go open yes right now I'm going to name it and the reason I'm doing it in that order is that I found my computer has been playing a little bit silly if I name it before I um, import it now we only have to name it, we have to load the image, we're not going to worry about animations here, we've got all the colours that we want, so that's all fine. So we can close him up now, sprite name 5, sprite background, into here, and now I'm going to go over to the room, and I'm going to open the room, and we're going to look down here to the background layer. See over here the side here, all the different layers we have? So I'm click on the background layer here, and we can choose a sprite for it, and I'm going to choose the sprite for the cave. Hmm, that's a bit disappointing. It's a little bit narrow, isn't it? That's okay, because you have these wonderful things here. We can actually um, work with the image in the background. So what we're going to use, we can tile them, so it repeats. Tile it horizontally and vertically, that's not what we want. But what we can do is we can stretch it so it fits the entire room. And that is exactly what we wanted to do. So I'm now going to, let's play this and have a look at it and see how it looks. And here we are, going there. And I don't know about you, but I think looking at this as well too, the, the score up here is a little bit, I don't know, understated. So we're gonna have a look at how we can improve that. So I'm gonna close that down. I'm going to go back to our workspace right now because the scores in here press F12 to hide all the panes and what we're going to do we're going to go and find our object controller because right. that's where we draw the instance which is right here so in the draw section of the object controller, we need to actually play around with setting the fonts and stuff like that but before we do that we actually have to create a font and what this does, it actually imports the font from your computer and makes it into pixels if you want within your actual game. So you don't have to worry about the font not existing on the game, on the computer of the person who's playing it. So it imports all the information that you need. So let's see, going down, I'm going to choose Snap because it is a really annoying font and I think that's really appropriate. And I think a good size will be about 20. There we are. So, snap 20. White still seems okay, I think. Yeah. Yeah, why not? We'll leave it at that. So, set the font. And I'm going to close him up. Oh, I'm going to give him a name. So, um, FNT, FNT for score. So, this is a font that we're going to use for our score. Right, yeah. I'm going to close that up. And then come back to here, close you up, and say, right, 
Now I need to work out how to add font. Here it is here. Set the font. So before I draw, I need to set the font. And I'm going to choose the font score. I then need to set the color for the font. Or just choose the color. It doesn't actually have to be setting the color for the font. But if you choose it in this situation, it will set the color. And the color I'm going to choose is maybe a yellowish, bright kind of annoying yellow. Or green. Green will really stand out in the background, I think. Or dark blue. We'll go with dark blue. Purplish, bluey kind of color. Right, there we are. That one there. Okay, so that's our color. And the last thing I want to do is I want to change the alignment. That, you know, just like you do with um, centering, etc. And so I'm going to take the text alignment, I'm going to change it. Because remember, when I gave the position for the font, it was smack bang in the middle of the screen. So in this way, if I set the text alignment to align in the center, it will evenly be in the middle of the screen. Right. So now I've done all those things. Now we've changed the font, I've changed the color, changed the text alignment, and then I will draw it. So that's what I want to do. Let's see. Come into here. And there we are. And that's yeah. Oh, it's that easy to see. I might go back and change the color blue to that original yellow that I was gonna say. About here. Iridescent annoying yellow. Let's see how that goes. Yes, that stands out a lot more. So you can see the score jumps backwards and forwards with the centering. All right, so that's good. Always keep it in the middle of the screen. Okay, so there we are. There we have now put our pictures in the background and we have also created our score. Well, there you have it. We now have a background image in the cave and our font looks a little bit funkier and a little bit easier to read. And finally, we can tick off nearly all the rest of our skills here. We've created backgrounds. We've learned to change our room name. We've sent font and set colors and set a text alignment. So we're almost there.